Hello, this video is to show you a mini scale copper scribe recycling line from copper scribe smelting and copper electrifying to produce standard copper products like copper cathode or copper rod. The raw material could be copper scribe such as copper wire, mud runs, and other slimes contain precious metals. The system can have a big treatment capacity, but we are going to focus on the mini-scale production with capacity ranging from 1 ton to 5 ton per batch. For such small batch of copper scribe smelting, some people may use medium frequency induction furnace to melt the copper scribe and cast into anode for electro refining. In this case, the copper anode from induction furnace is not refined and contains various of impurities. With this cup cathode, the electrifying is not stable enough to produce cathode meeting LME grade A standard. What we are using is a rotary revolutory furnace. It is a versatile furnace integrating metallurgical functions of melting, converting, refining, and casting. Copper scribe grading 90% and above can be charged into the furnace for smelting and refining to produce copper anode directly. The copper anode can be used for electrifying to produce cathode complying with LME grade A. The furnace consists of furnace body, supporting frame, rotating driving device, refractories, heating and combustion, and refining system. The furnace is equipped with combustor and lancer. The combustor can be filled with LPG or LNG. Here, we give you a snapshot of the furnace in operation. The smelting process includes four steps. Feeding, smelting and dressing, refining and dressing, and casting. Now let's have a look. Now the furnace is at the feeding position for burden charging. The furnace burden is scattered copper material, so it is packed in bags and then pushed into the furnace. This furnace is filled with natural gas, premixed with air, before entering into the combustor. During smelting, slight reduction atmosphere is given to avoid generation of large amount of copper oxide dross. The on the molten surface flows the dross, which is removed. Now it comes to the refining stage. Compressed air with certain oxygen content is used for refining. How long the refining takes is subject to impurity content in the, in the raw material. Simply and the visual check is to roughly evaluate the copper purity. Once the refining is completed, the refining dross has to be removed and the lenser is shipped to natural gas to reduce oxygen content in copper. It is followed by the end of the casting. The casting board is in the very center of the volute furnace casting. It ensures constant and stable anode casting as the furnace rotates. The anode is further refined by electrorefining to improve the copper purity in line with LME grade A standard. Currently, natural gas consumption for this furnace is about 100 to 120 cubic meters per ton copper scribe. Electricity consumption for electrifying is about 300 kilowatt per ton copper cathode. The system is extremely advantageous for many scale copper scribe recycling projects. For your information, Metasys also developed TRC furnace, especially for smelting of WE taking PCB board, IC as raw material. The furnace can achieve higher recovery of precious matter with minimum investment. For more information, please visit us at our website or our homepage at Facebook. If you still have any question to this video, please comment or ask your questions to welcome at mrs.com. We will try to reply you by email or while special video program. Thank you for your time.